Good afternoon. Welcome to the weekend. It is lunchtime on Friday. And I decided what better time and day to start getting back on the shoes and lacing up and going for a lunchtime run. I had to see this beautiful skyline. Feel good on the run. Just doing a, a four mile loop today. Um, just taking it easy, just enjoying the run to make sure everything still feels loose and then my legs feel better. And they do, they do. So I think today will be the start of the next bit of training towards the wine and dine challenge. Plus the 5K, I'm doing all three races, wine and dine weekend, and I'm hoping it's gonna be awesome and enjoyable, and we've got some friends running, and I just can't wait. So, I gotta get back to work, so I have to stop vlogging and go back to running. Like palace should we go there's like no question okay yeah let's look for tickets in just a few weeks behind us will be full of all the joy Chris Kindle Market yeah. Chicago downtown Chicago and Wrigleyville are returning mm -hmm. yes and I so the, the Chris Kindle Market season before we moved to Florida I worked in like a more clerical job in my hotel I didn't work front desk but I worked like typical nine to five Monday to Friday which meant I had like a normal person <laughs> lunchtime there's a bunch of pigeons <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get pooped down for sure for sure for, for sure <laughs> wow there's a, there's a brown pigeon that's what that was awful <laughs> that was crazy what are you doing Okay, now we're going this way. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Jamesy! That was nuts! Anyway. <laughs> so I have like a normal lunch hour Monday through Friday. So I came here with like my colleagues all the time. Like the most I've ever been to Chris Cano Market was that season. Mm -hmm. And I'm fairly sure it's certain Sarah and I will be coming to this one, and the one by Wrigley is literally just a few streets away from yeah. my apartment. Yeah. So we will be going to Chris Canal Market 2021. Oh, the time. Like, crazy. Yeah. I'll actually link a at least one vlog in the corner, and then I'll put in the description other Chris Canal Markets, because it's just our favorite. <laughs> what is happening? A bike ran, drove through the crowd at that, that time. Alrighty. We're gonna grab dinner at the Burgoff tonight. Oh, here's and the Burgoff Cafe. And we're just as excited. Yeah. So, yeah, the Burgoff is really cool. It's on original Route 66. Route 66 is now changed because these are, wait, it wasn't on the original Route 66. This is now Route 66 because they changed things to one way. So, this was but the there's first yeah. liquor license. The claim to fame is this is the first liquor license in Chicago post prohibition. Yes. So there's like the cafe, which I think was the front when they would actually sell alcohol yeah. during prohibition. And then the restaurant. Do you want to eat some dinner? We don't have a <laughs> Got a little bit of Oktoberfest going on. He's very busy looking at his menu. It is. It says, give me the Bavarian pretzel. Give me the sauerkraut. I think the cheese curds. 
Yeah, they sound different. Here are our cheese curds. They have like a chickpea wasabi crust. Like and then the sauce is like a little glazy wasabi number. Different for sure. And then we got the bread basket. That's fine, a beer. Look at that <laughs> beer. Peter. I feel like last time you got that was like at the Germany Pavilion. And I'm sad, so we like two of their sodas. So for our wedding favors, we got like bottled pop from the Berghoff for everyone to take home. And like we had these little tap hands, like Sarah's favorite, because I love the black cherry. Peter loves the root beer. And they don't have the black cherry here, so I was kind of sad. Um, but yeah, I just got a, a Pepsi, but I will put a picture in here of the little pop bottles because they were a labor of love, but just like another cute little Chicago touch at our, at our wedding. Our food has arrived. I got a sausage trio with sauerkraut and potato salad. And here we go. Here is my Adam Street beer battered cod with house made chips and some slaw. Ooh, what you gonna dip in there? Dip. All the good stuff. What are you gonna dip it in? Your mom's nuts. Ready for your first German feast? Ew. Alright, dessert has been massacred. And so we're on to. Dessert? Ooh, dinner has been destroyed. So we're on to the dessert menu. Here it is drinks. It's the actual desserts. I think we're gonna go with potentially the apple strudel and the German chocolate cake. Or maybe the black forest cake. What is black forest with cake? With the apple strudel. We got apple at Maggiano's recently. I kind of feel in that cheesecake. Wow, and you never do. Salted never caramel cheesecake? Cheesecake. You're a big cheesecake. I know. I might have to jump on this. And we got German chocolate cake. Oh, James just kicked off the table. A friend brought him donuts. And we've got cheesecake. Caramel. Salted. We tried to open a P.O. box today. <laughs> we wouldn't do it this close to close. They just weren't up for it. So we'll come back on Monday. Yeah. We also, I needed like another piece of like identification. Yeah. So. We have it with us. We have yeah. that stuff with us. Yeah. It just became too close to close. Yeah. Oh, these, these big buildings. Oh. <laughs> Look who fell asleep on the ride home. But the cool thing about our bugaboo stroller is I can just attach the seat and keep him in there. We're gonna FaceTime our nephew because it's his birthday and yeah, then we're gonna watch okay. some more so, creepy you because we have to finish season two because season three came out today yeah. and they announced there's a season four. Don't tell us if you know what happens. Peter did some investigating. There was one day. character I wanted to see what happened to him because I was too anxious because <laughs> I love him. Much, much, much later. It is way late, but Sarah and I finished season two of you show is sick and twisted uh, but season three came out today so we can start that um sometime soon maybe tomorrow maybe later we kind of have a busy weekend um i have to like uh, try to get a bunch of work stuff done like over the finish line because i have like one more week where i'm like transitioning out of my current role and i have to like make sure everything's good so i actually have to do some work tomorrow and then run some errands Sunday we're doing some storage cleanup at our apartment finally with our new minivan um, but it's still going to be a good weekend it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions 